everybody this is tech g back with another video and in this video i'm going to be explaining to you exactly what the comptia a plus certification is in case you plan on getting this in your professional life so let's get into it if you've been thinking about getting into the it field then chances are you've come across the comptia a plus certification maybe someone recommended it as a first step maybe you saw it listed in a job posting or maybe you were just googling how to break into tech with no experience either way let's clear the air and get real about what the comptia a plus certification actually is what it covers and how it can impact your career so with that being said let's go all right so at its core the CompTIA A+, this is an entry-level certification designed to prove you have the essential technical knowledge and hands-on skills needed for roles in IT support and troubleshooting. It's vendor neutral, meaning it's not tied to Microsoft, Apple, Cisco, or any one tech company. And it is issued by CompTIA, which is a trusted nonprofit trade association known for creating globally recognized certifications in the IT industry. And the a plus certification focuses on foundational topics like computer hardware software and operating systems networking basics cybersecurity fundamentals troubleshooting techniques virtualization and cloud computing and it operational procedures and you earn the certification by passing two exams so you got to pass the core one test which consists of hardware networking mobile devices cloud and virtualization topics and then you have to pass the core two exam and this consists of operating systems security software troubleshooting and operational procedures and also each exam has up to 90 questions and lasts 90 minutes and there's a mix of multiple choice drag and drop and performance based simulations so now let's talk about who exactly should get the CompTIA A+. Well, the A+, certification is perfect for people who are new to IT and want to start a tech career. It's great for career changers looking to transition into tech support or help desk roles. It's great for students in high school or college looking to boost their resumes. And it's great for military veterans entering the civilian workforce. But pretty much it's good for anyone wanting to build a strong foundation before tackling more advanced certifications like Network Plus or Security Plus. So you don't need any prior experience to take the A plus certification. And that's one of the reasons why it's so popular is because it's accessible, but it definitely helps to study and get some hands on practice through a home lab or some online simulations to help you understand the concepts that you're going to be learning in order to get certified. All right. So let's get to the good stuff. Why should you actually bother getting this certification? Well, it opens the doors to IT jobs, even entry level ones. So many employers, they see the A plus as a baseline requirement for hiring help desk technicians, desktop support specialists and other junior level IT roles. And it shows that you know how to fix things, you know how to follow procedures and you understand the core building blocks of IT. In fact, major companies like Dell, Intel, HP, and the U.S. Department of Defense, they all recognize or require the CompTIA A plus for certain roles. And then it's a confidence builder. So let's face it, breaking into tech can be intimidating and getting A plus certified proves to yourself and the world that you're serious and capable. That alone can do wonders for your confidence and motivation. Another benefit is it sets the stage for more advanced certifications. So think of the A plus as your tech careers launching pad. Once you're A plus certified and gain some real world experience, then you can move on to certifications like the network plus the security plus Microsoft, AWS, or some Cisco certifications. And all of them can lead to higher paying and more specialized jobs. Another benefit is it can help you stand out in the job market. So even if a job doesn't require a plus having it on your resume can still give you a leg up. It signals to employers that you have foundational knowledge that you've invested in your professional development and that you're ready to get to work. And then another benefit is you don't need a college degree to get this. So in today's job market, skills often matter more than degrees, especially in IT. So while a degree can help you, many tech professionals have built successful careers, starting with just their A plus certification and some hustle. Exactly what type of jobs can you get with the CompTIA A plus? And that is the million dollar question. So here are some of the most common job roles people land after earning their CompTIA A plus. The first is that of a help desk technician or an IT support specialist. And this is one of the most typical first jobs that people get. So if you get this job, you're going to be answering support tickets, troubleshooting user issues, resetting passwords and keeping systems running smoothly. And the average salary is about forty five to fifty five thousand dollars per year. And then we have what is called a desktop support technician. 
And so if you get this type of job, you're going to handle on-site or remote support for desktops, laptops, printers, and mobile devices. And it often involves hardware repair, imaging devices, and software installations. And the average salary is about $50,000 to $60,000 per year. And you may also qualify to get a job as a field service technician where you'll be traveling to different locations like branch offices, going to visit your clients, retail stores, all types of stuff. And while you're there, you're going to be setting up and troubleshooting hardware and network equipment. And the average salary for this is about forty five to sixty thousand dollars per year. And then you might also find yourself being a technical support specialist. And this role might focus more on supporting specific applications or platforms. So you might work for a software company helping customers with installation issues, bugs, or usage questions. And the average salary for this position is about fifty dollars to 65000 per year. There's also the role of being an IT operations and or support analyst. So as you get more experience, you might move into support analyst roles that involve monitoring systems, analyzing logs, managing user accounts and supporting IT projects. And the average salary for this position is about fifty five to seventy thousand dollars per year. And another job you could possibly qualify for is that of a junior cybersecurity technician. So if you follow up A-plus with Security Plus, you might qualify for entry-level security roles like a SOC analyst, which is a security operations center analyst, a security technician, or a vulnerability analyst. And the average salary for these people is about sixty dollars to $80,000 per year. And here's a bonus tip. If you pair the A-plus with strong communication skills, a good attitude, and a willingness to learn, then your career can move fast because employers, they love people who are trainable, proactive, and reliable. So with all of that being said, is the A-plus certification still worth getting? Now, some people are going to argue that the A-plus is outdated or too basic, and others are going to say it's essential for anyone starting out. So what's the truth? Well, here's the deal. The A-plus is absolutely still worth it for beginners, but its value depends on your goals and how you use it. So if you already have three plus years of hands-on IT experience, then you can possibly skip getting the certification. Now, if you're trying to land your first IT job, then the A-plus can help open that door. If you're aiming for cybersecurity or networking long-term, then the A-plus gives you the foundation. So think of it like getting your learner's permit before you go out there and start driving some expensive car. It's not glamorous, but it is necessary. And also don't forget the A-plus is updated every few years to reflect changes in technology. So our next question is, how long does it take to get a plus certified? Now, this varies depending upon your background and how much time you can dedicate towards studying. So here's a rough estimate. So if you're a beginner with no IT experience, it shouldn't take you no longer than three to six months to get certified. If you have some technical experience, like you tinker on computers every now and then, then it should take you about one to three months. If you're a full time student or you attend some type of boot camp, this can take you about four to eight weeks. Now, most people, when they study, they use a combination of video courses, study guides, practice tests, and labs. And you can take the exams in person at a testing center, or you can do them online with remote proctoring. Now let's talk about how much does it cost to get certified. So getting a certified is not free, but it is relatively affordable compared to college. So here's a breakdown of the typical costs. So an exam voucher for each exam, because remember, it's two tests you got to take. Each voucher is two hundred and sixty five dollars. And if you want to get a discount, just simply go visit my website, Technology G, or click the link in the description and it'll take you to a page where you can get a discounted price and not pay full price. Now, when it comes to study materials, this can vary widely. You can get some free ninety nine stuff and then you have people out there charging a thousand plus dollars. It really just depends upon what you think you need in order to be successful at passing these certifications, whether that's buying a course, books, bundles, watching free videos online, whatever it is that you feel that you got to do. Now, some providers that will offer bundles that include training plus practice tests plus vouchers at a discount. And if you're a student, military vet or you're unemployed, you can look for discounts and training grants to help you out as well. So once you get certified, what should you do next? Well, you need to congratulate yourself because you actually passed the test and got certified. But here are your next steps. First thing you want to do is start applying for jobs. Go on some job boards and look for IT support, help desk or technical support roles. Tailor your resume to highlight your A-plus certification and any hands-on experience, even if that experience comes from a home lab or some volunteer gig. 
Go out there and build a home lab to keep practicing because you want to stay sharp with your skill sets. Try setting up virtual machines, configuring a small network or documenting fixes in a portfolio. Also, start studying for your next certification. So if you're interested in networking, then go prepare for the Network Plus. If you want to get into cybersecurity, prepare for the Security Plus. If you're interested in cloud, then look at the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner or the Google IT Support Certification. Also, you can join some tech communities. You got Reddit, you got Discord servers, LinkedIn groups. Basically, there are tons of free space where you can learn, ask questions, and network with others in the industry. All right, so... Getting A-plus certified, this is not a magic wand, but the CompTIA A-plus, this is one of the most recognized stepping stones in the IT industry. So if you're brand new to tech and you want to break in, the certification helps you speak the language, understand the tools, and prove to employers that you're ready to roll up your sleeves and solve problems. So think of it as your passport to opportunity. Whether you want to be a technician, you want to work in help desk, or you eventually want to move into networking, cybersecurity, or cloud engineering, the A-plus lays the groundwork. And once you're in, the sky's the limit. So if you're on the fence, hopefully this video will help you make a decision.